Doctor, let's talk about heart health again uh, and how omega-3 can help. Let's say someone's had a heart attack uh, already. Can, can boosting omega-3 levels help post-heart disease? Absolutely. The evidence is very strong on this, Scott. Um, the best known study, and there have been others since, the so-called GC Prevenzioni study from Italy, and I was asked by the investigators to fly over to Florenza in Italy right after the release of this study, but they looked at large numbers of Italian men and women who had a heart attack, okay? Several, several thousands, well over 10,000. And while they were recovering from their heart attacks in hospital and afterwards, they are put on the Mediterranean diet. Like you couldn't mm -hmm. feed them any better. That's the Rolls-Royce friendly diet for cardiac care based on the published literature. And I live off the literature. They also had them on the best meds for post-MI care, post-heart attack care. You know, the ACE inhibitors for blood pressure, the beta block slowing your mm -hmm. heart rate, the aspirin, uh, the stands for cholesterol. The whole Rolls Royce of post MI pharmacopoeia was done on these patients. Half were on a placebo, uh, unknown to them, it was blinded, and half were on about 900 milligrams of EPA plus DHA per day, and they were followed for the next few years. And those who were on omega 3 compared to the controls showed a 30% reduction in cardiovascular deaths and a 45% reduction in sudden cardiac deaths, mm -hmm. such as that umpire on national TV a few years ago who had a heart attack and died within a few, few minutes thereafter. These are absolutely dramatic figures. To the point now that, and I'm quoting Dr. Santini from a large hospital in Rome, and I'm getting the quote almost exactly right, but it was in the New York Times. And he said, it is tantamount to malpractice in our country to omit this important drug after a heart attack. What was he referring to? 900 milligrams, EPA, DHA, omega-3 per day, which you can get for a few pennies all over America. Over 35% in a recent report of post-MI patients in Italy are receiving omega-3 advice on EPA, DHA by their cardiologists and are or on the medication, if you want to call it that. Less than 5% of post-MI patients in America are getting this. We have to catch up to the Italians and even surpass them in terms of getting the word out. What is it about omega-3s that help? After, what specifically do they do in, in patients that have had uh, heart attacks or heart disease? Yes. Omega-3s, there are 186 risk factors for heart disease. Our healthcare system measures five of them on a good day. You get your blood pressure, your glucose, your cholesterol, your triglyceride, and, and, and that's about it. You're good to go. The other 181 risk factors, understandably, you don't have the funds to do them, but they're very important. Omega-3s have no effect on blood cholesterol lowering. They're useless for lowering LDL cholesterol. They do the following. They have anti-inflammatory effects. They have anti-arrhythmic effects, so your heart does not go into a potentially fatal uh, rhythm experience. They have a modest effect on lowering your heart rate. Uh, they have improved your heart rate recovery uh, after exercise. Uh, they also have antithrombotic effects, which means the stickiness of your blood, your blood platelets, mm. to form a clump is significantly reduced. Uh, so they have a number of these effects which are, are extremely important. Uh, now one of the effects they have which you can get, you can prove for yourself through your doctor is your blood triglyceride level. Blood triglyceride, which is another fat, is as important a risk factor as blood cholesterol. But like Rodney Dangerfield would say, it never got the respect it deserved in America and still doesn't to this day, unfortunately. Omega-3 fatty acids, for every one gram you take, EPA, DHA, omega-3, um, you can expect in the average person about an 8 to 10% drop in their fasting blood triglyceride levels. In fact, the American Heart have said to doctors in America, please consider going up to even four grams or 4,000 milligrams of EPA, DHA, omega-3 per day. And we have shown in our studies that at say 3,000 milligrams of EPA, DHA, omega-3 per day, the average person can expect about a 30% drop in their fasting triglyceride levels as good as many of the patented triglyceride-lowering drugs used globally for a fraction of the cost. Mm -hmm. And without any expected side effects, mm -hmm. because the Food and Drug Administration 
have considered that up to 3,000 milligrams of EPA DHA omega-3 per day is considered safe for the average American. So even if you're on a statin drug, statin drugs take, do a good job on cholesterol, uh, a little bit of triglyceride lowering. But we found in our research that omega-3s plus statins give a much better blood lipid risk profile than statins alone because you see this marked further lowering of the blood triglyceride level. So I'd say to people who are watching us today, get your triglyceride measured by your doc. Look at the numbers and talk to your doctor. Uh, or, but if you go on 3,000 milligrams EPA, DHA, omega-3 a day, come back in four to six weeks, redo it. 99% of the time, you'll see dramatic benefits and your doctor will now become a convert in using omega-3 for cardio care and triglyceride lowering in this particular example.